Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show y'all how I do my garden inspired ratatouille. So, I mean, that sounds like a really fancy dish, but really you can make it with anything that you have coming in the garden, um, anything that's on sale in the grocery store, and you don't have to have a bunch of different things. You can just use what you have. So, um, I've got some okra, I've got some cherry tomatoes that have come in in the garden. I've got an eggplant that my neighbor gave me. Thank you so much. I've got um, some peppers red onions and carrots, but you don't have to have all this. I mean, you just use what you have. So this is what I have today. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Um, I just chunk up the okra and I've never, I've never roasted okra, but roasted root vegetables, we love roasted root vegetables. So this is, we eat a lot of stew and a lot of, um, you know, one, one pot meals around here, just because it's easy. Um, and because you can use whatever you have in the garden and you can use whatever you have in the freezer. So I'm just gonna chunk these okra pieces up to about the same size. Who doesn't like okra in their, in their stock? Um, I've got my little compost bucket below me. I'm just gonna throw the cut ends in and the chickens are gonna enjoy that. I love having chickens. We haven't had chickens in a while until this year. And really nothing goes to waste when you have chickens on the farm. They'll eat whatever you don't eat. They'll eat whatever um, vegetables you have that are over ripened. Now in a moment, I'm gonna get my stock going. I am gonna put some carrots and onions in the stock while it's kind of cooking down while my roasted vegetables are cooking. So while this is roasting in the oven at 400 degrees, I'm gonna be getting my stock ready. Um, you can do this without having any meat. You can do a meatless um, version of this and it'll be just fine. But we have some um, quail that we canned last year and it's, it's getting close to um, being expired as far as the best use date. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook that and add a little bit of meat in there. And the broth that the quail is canned in is going to be part of the broth for the ratatouille. So, there are lots of versions of ratatouille out there. I just, I just feel fancy when I say that. I'm cooking ratatouille for supper. What are you having for supper? I'm having ratatouille. That just sounds fancy to me, but, um, like I said, this is basically just a pot of vegetables with some broth with some meat if you have it. You don't have to use the meat if you don't have it. And it's gonna be some kind of good. Don't, don't freak out and think there's certain rules you have to follow with this recipe, because there's not. You make up those rules. This is just a leftover bell pepper we had from this weekend. I need to use it or I'm gonna lose it. So I'm gonna put some of it in the roasting pan, but I'm gonna reserve some of it to put in the stock when I'm cooking it down. I don't grow bell peppers. I'm gonna have to start growing bell peppers. My neighbor gave me this. I really like them in ratatouille. Let me get something that's serrated, it'll cut better. I really, I really like this eggplant, roasted eggplant. Um, I'm gonna have to grow some of those. Or get them at the grocery store. I'm just gonna chunk up the eggplant. Put it on the cookie sheet. And you're gonna cook this down a little bit after you add the roasted vegetables to the stock pot. I'm gonna save a little bit of the carrot, a little bit of the onion to cook in the stock. But those roasted vegetables add some kind of, some kind of good flavor to your, to your meal that you're cooking. I've got some cherry tomatoes that I'm also going to put in there. If you don't have cherry tomatoes, you can use just regular tomatoes. But um, we've got an abundance of cherry tomatoes. These are the bomb, y'all. If y'all get an opportunity to buy some Berry's Crazy Cherry Tomatoes, those are really good. Really good. So I'm going to drizzle this with olive oil. Pay no mind, y'all, to that cookie sheet. 
It's a hand-me-down from my daughter, but I love it. It's big. I have no idea where she got it. She might have gotten it from me. A little bit of pepper on it, just a little. Put some salt on it. A little bit more salt. These make a wonderful side dish as well. If you want to make some pasta or some rice, you know, and then just throw these roasted vegetables on them. You're a little bit big. I'm going to cut you down a little bit. Just kind of toss it. Make sure you have the oil coated real well. But I'm going to pull it out and toss it again after it's been cooking for about 10 minutes so the oil will be distributed better. So you just kind of want to lay it out in one layer if you can. Use your fingers. You got a little bit too big there. Use your fingers to kind of lay it down flat if you can. Is that not gloriously beautiful? Love those colors. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, my oven's warmed up to 400, so I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Okay, so while my, while my veggies are roasting, I'm gonna saute these. Gonna put my okra in. Okay, these have sauteed for a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some chicken broth. You can add beef broth, you can add vegetable broth, whatever you want to add. it going. Okay, I'm going to add two cans, but I also have some um, homemade broth that I'm going to add. I'm just going to let, let that stew. I'm going to add some homemade broth. We pressure canned some quail with garlic last year. And I'm just gonna strain the broth off. And then, then I'm gonna pull the meat off and add it to the ratatouille. You don't have to add meat, you can just do vegetables. So now I'm just gonna pull the meat off the bone, which is really easy. You have to be careful of those little ribs. One of the easiest meats to can is um, deer. We like we like canned deer meat. And the broth's good too, to save it and use it. I'd like to do a video on how to use that. Okay, I just got the vegetables out of the oven. They've been roasting about 20, 25 minutes. I just stirred them a couple times just to kind of make sure the oil was distributed well. And then you just slide those babies off in the, in the stock. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna let the broth and the vegetables stew a little bit to kind of get the flavors all in. Okay, you don't have to let them stew very long, 10, 20 minutes, something like that, whatever you want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and add the 
I'm going to go ahead and add the quail mate. I'm just going to add the quail meat. Kind of stir it up. Yeah, that's enough meat. And you don't have to add the meat. My husband likes meat, so I'm going to add the meat. I'm just going to cover it and let it stew a little bit. One of the secrets that I found to making good pot roast and good stews is these bouillon um, base. You can get them in the seasoning section where your uh, chicken broth is and your soup. I love this stuff. I can usually keep, keep it in my refrigerator. This is garlic, but they also have, they have roasted beef base. They have all kinds. They've got vegetable. You just stir that in there. And really, you can use this with water to make your stock. You don't have to buy canned stock. You can keep this in your refrigerator and use this to make stock. And oh my goodness, it adds a good flavor. Since I added that, I am going to add a little bit of water, I think. If you want to thicken it, you can um, thicken it when you're finished um, to make it more like a gravy. You can do that, but... I mean, that's pretty pretty loose right there, but you can thicken it if you want to. Um, I like eating it over rice, and the rice just kind of sops it up, so I don't usually thicken mine. So for my friends that have requested the recipe for my ratatouille, this is, this is it. Y'all give it a go, and let me know if y'all add something that I need to add that I didn't add. Just let me know if I need to tweak it a little bit, but this is really good. This will make you want to slap your mama. Really good. Now this is one of those meals that, that I just can't get enough of because you can tweak it, you can change it depending on what you have coming in, what you've got in the in the refrigerator. This is a go-to, this is a go-to meal. So y'all I got so many chores to get done today on my day off, so y'all y'all go make you some ratatouille and drop me a picture of it in the comments and we'll catch you later. See ya.